Hola a todos. I'm Blue Lou Marini. And I never thought I was a black hero, but I guess I am. One thing I can talk about is uh, sound, which is the, you know, the carrier of the music. And um, I noticed this the other day, I was listening to, I was in a bar somewhere here in Madrid, and uh, there was music playing, and it was uh, a pop record with synthesized horns. And uh, it, it had me thinking that uh, people are getting used to the sound of of a, what to me is a, a much worse characteristic of, of music and of the sound of, of music. And you know, the, the thing with synthesizers is that uh, when you have multiple synthesizers, uh, whatever sound they generate is the sound that happens. When you have multiple real instrumentalists, real horn players for instance, they are constantly adjusting their sounds to blend with one another and synthesizers don't adjust anything so what you get is a very coarse sound and uh, it's uh, to me it's a much less rich sound and I worry that people get used to hearing this sound and and they lose lose the the human soul of of the sound of music you know uh, I remember working uh, in a studio in New York having to play with a total synthesized track and there was some point in the track where I had to play a certain note and every time I got to that note I was really out of tune super decifinado and then I would play the note look at the and the note would be perfectly in tune. But every time I got to that point, and it was because of something in the synthesized tracks that just doesn't work like humans work. Because in actuality, it's a super sensitive thing. Because when you play a note, for instance on the saxophone, you generate a fundamental tone. And then there's all these other parts of the sound that I can demonstrate. this note all those no all those tones are present in the bottom note and when musicians play they 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 automatically, sensitively adjust those those partials to make everything really in tune and make this a beautiful sound. And you can have any two players of any two instruments play together and their sound will, if they're good musicians, they will find a way to blend and make it sound beautiful. But synthesizers don't do any of that. So, it, and, and there's a corollary to it also in that, you know, there was a period of time from the beginning of, of recorded sound and the whole concept of high fidelity and sound systems that are great. And what's happened is everything has gone down to, to hearing it on this, you know, and in reality the sound of this compared to a, a great sound system or to hearing music live. Is, is, is this a, a great difference? And uh, uh, I have a big collection of vinyl records at home. And any time that I put on a vinyl record after I've been listening to CDs, and I have a wonderful sound system, so my CDs sound great. But still, the first thing that strikes you when you put on a vinyl record 
because uh, it just feels it's more information. So it's a it's it's part of our. Uh, there's I don't know that it's not like a dumbing down of the culture actually, but when kids grow up and the only thing they hear is music on cheap earphones with recorded sound, their idea of what music sounds like is not, it's not a true idea. So one reason that I love, like for instance, playing here in Comores, uh, we always play to a packed house of people who have made the effort to come out and hear live music. and and immerse themselves in the, in the making of it, you know. Because, uh, I don't know, it seems to me, if, if uh, aliens come down to Earth and say, justify your presence in the universe, we'd better play them Bach and Coltrane and Duke Ellington and Stravinsky to justify our existence, you know, and show them Las Meninas to me. Other things. Well, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I think you still hear it. I hope so. Other things. Uh, you know, I was talking today to a French friend, uh, the, the guitar player that was here last night, and uh, he was telling me about a brilliant young saxophone player in in uh, in Paris who's Italian. But I was thinking, it made me think today that uh, you know now when I grew up we learned to play by listening to records. The previous generation, they learned to play by going to nightclubs every night and listening to the real guys play. So already it's two levels removed. Now kids learn to play through the internet and they have the advantage of, there's, there's apps for instance, that if you want to transcribe a solo, the, you put it in the app, the app slows down the solo but keeps it in the same key so you can learn to play it. Well, we learn to play it in real time, you know. So there's all these tools that make it easier for young players to, to learn the vocabulary. And consequently, there's been an elevation in, in technique. Young guys now, they play things that are just amazing. And I think that sometime soon, I hope while I'm still alive, there's gonna be some, someone from somewhere in the world because now the world is so connected and there's great musicians everywhere and they're listening to each other in ways that they never could before. I think that sometime soon there's going to be a real explosion. Someone is going to come along and there's going to be a new form of music, you know. It might have to do with synthesizers and computers. I heard a band in Israel uh, last summer or two summers ago man it was a violinist a great singer a great drummer a great guitar player and a guy who who just sat with a computer and he was triggering loops and they would play with the loops uh, and the loops were very creative and very interesting but it wasn't just he could manipulate them and change them and stop them and and wow it was it was really, really good, you know. I thought, now this, this is, this is another place. Very interesting. So the guy with the computer, the two leaders of the band, were the guitar player and the, and the computer guy. And the computer guy was a total electric music freak, and the guitar player was a total like traditional Middle Eastern music guy. And so their combination made for this wonderful. Uh, you know, methcla, beautiful. So sometime soon somebody's going to pump us up.
No, no era de canción.
Sobat Asapanya Estamos aquí en el último noche Tocando antes de la guía ¿Ok? Manuel Bagüez del bajo Carlos Sánchez en drums Mr. Blue Room Marini Jeff Espinoza, sí, Simón Gracias por estar ahí